We are expecting a huge announcement about Tesla Gigafactory Texas by the end of this week, but it also can be related about uh, to the 46AD Tesla's modular battery. So Joe Techmeyer, who regularly provides Tesla Giga Texas information and drone flights, uh, has tweeted today two images that you're seeing on your screen saying follow up on 46AD modular production equipment being delivered to Giga Texas today, January 3, 2021. And he says, I think you can see this item in photo one being lifted by crane and being similar to the installed equipment in photo two on the third floor. So we are expecting some serious developments about Tesla 46AD battery production. Joe also says that today on January 3, 2022, Giga Texas uh, in these images begins with records broken. He says many battery cell 46AD production deliveries today, which I just talked about. He says on went entra west entrance work concrete loading areas, pours, casting roof materials, installation, and more. And he also has a video talking about all of this. So, uh, but the good news is that there is a recent tweet by, um, so, so actually it's by, um, Sawyer Merritt also says that start of production probably today uh, and also Willsman, uh, tweet by Willsman who says um, that a huge announcement is expected from Elon Musk about Giga Texas. What is this announcement? We have few theories of what it could be and we'll discuss here, says Jeremy Johnson from talknews.com. He says whenever someone tweets that Elon Musk is going to say something important, you have to be a little skeptical at first. However, in this case, I believe there is reason for there to be an announcement from Elon Musk about Giga Texas. The Twitter user Will I Man has said that Elon Musk is going to give us a huge announcement about Giga Texas by the end of the week. One might wonder what that is. So there is a few theories to tide you over while we wait for an announcement from Elon Musk. What will Elon Musk says? He one thing that he can say the production is going to start. The second thing he can say it's. Uh, it's about 4680 battery cells. He says, Jeremy says, I think as part of the announcement that Giga Texas is starting production will be Elon Musk stating that the 4680 battery cells are ready for production vehicles and that Giga Texas will begin producing the Model Y with 4680 batteries. This is huge news. And the third uh, theory can be the Model 2 or new compact car and another factory announced. I think Elon once said that it will not be called Model 2, but will be called uh, another model but i may talk about this in the coming days more detailed maybe tomorrow guys but this is the exciting news that uh, uh, 4680 batteries which is very very important for tesla for giga berlin for giga texas are being installed at giga texas factory in austin and we may hear the production start with model y with 4680 batteries um the next week if the announcement comes this week or maybe in elon musk will announce a date for this so what are your theories let me know in the comment section below friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com please give us thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for daily news and share this in social media i would greatly appreciate it god bless you peace be with all of you and your families let's move on to our next tesla story Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year to our uh, visitors and our viewers at Torque News Channel. Friends, we have some interesting and breaking news from Tesla Giga Berlin. Tobias Lind, who regularly provides uh, Giga Berlin flyovers of drone with Jurgen, has a very breaking and interesting news. He has tweeted this tweet saying, I saw a Model Y performance today at Giga Berlin. I've had a look at the VIN number. It is made in Germany. Tobias tweeted this. Uh, about 12.32 p.m. on December 31st yesterday. So you are, I guess, looking one of the first Giga Berlin made v uh, uh, model wise. Uh, looks like this is the performance version, I hope. And uh, it's um, Tobias also has the w VIN number. And uh, I don't know, like, it's hard to read. I don't know if you can read it. It's hard to read, but at least there is a VIN number. And Tobias confirms that this is made in Germany uh, uh, car. And so um, does the 
existence of VIN and the license plate imply that it is a production unit rather than a test unit? And does that imply that production has started? This one person named Simon 101 asked Tobias. Tobias says, no, I am pretty sure it's just for testing. You know, in the past couple of days, we have seen several testing cars at Giga Berlin and a trailer loaded with Model Y performance versions leaving Giga Berlin in the Berlin area. And then yesterday I reported something that we saw apparently a Model Y produced at Giga Berlin in Norway at the Tesla Center for winter testing. You know, Norway is cold weather and maybe Tesla is trying to have winter testing there because Norway is also a great market for Tesla vehicles and for electric vehicles in general. Well, this is overall good news that we're seeing already cars made at Giga Berlin coming out of the assembly line, although for purposes, but the VIN number confirms this is made in Germany. And also we're hoping that, you know, in the next couple of weeks, maybe we will have the final permit and Tesla will start the production either immediately or within 14 days after Tesla receives the final permit for Giga Berlin factory. In the meantime, you remember that yesterday I reported that uh, it is expected that Giga factory Texas will start this week, the first week of January. If you haven't seen that, uh, you can see it on our channel. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from torpnews.com. If you guys know more information from Giga Berlin or references, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this development at Giga Berlin? I think we're getting very close from uh, for Tesla to start producing its cars at Giga Berlin. Have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our... We have another breaking news from Tesla Giga Texas. As you may have known already, Tesla Giga Texas is expected to start the mass production this week in January. And Joe Techmeyer reports from Tesla Giga Berlin that it appears Tesla is now installing Longi solar panels on the west side roof of area near the main entrance of Gigafactory Texas. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news that comes to our teletypes. So Joe Techmeyer, who always flies his drone and brings us the latest from Gigafactory Texas, has tweeted yesterday saying Giga Texas News 31 December 2021. It appears Tesla is installing Longi solar panels on the west side roof area near the main entrance glass area. Take a look at these images that you're seeing, friends, uh, that Joe Techmeyer has shared with us. Now, some of you may ask why Tesla, the, why not their own? Because we know that Tesla Energy produces solar roofs, right? So here's the, the thing. I don't think Tesla actually makes solar panels aside from the roof tiles. Now, solar panels and solar roof tiles are different things. Solar roof tiles are intentionally designed to look a lot like asphalt shingles. So they look similar to the traditional roof. On the other hand, solar panels are available only in the traditional black blue colors. They are also installed on brackets on top of an existing finished roof. So it makes sense that Tesla is building, is using another company's solar panels instead of its own solar roof. Now, what's better, solar panels or solar roof? Okay, some other places that I'm reading, they say solar panels are more energy efficient than solar shingles as you can tilt them to the direction where the sun shines the most. This mechanism enables them to catch more sunlight. On the other hand, a solar shingle depends on its location on the roof plus the roof's orientation to receive sunlight. So now you understand why Tesla is not using its own solar tires. Now, some of you may say Tesla Giga Texas is going to need some kind of drone to clean all the those panels that you're seeing in the images from Joe Techmeyer. Look all the dust on the white roof already, right? But the rain will probably do the trick unless Tesla comes up with some other ways to clean the dust from solar panels. Austin apparently gets about 35 inches of rain a year. This is very nice. I really hope they cover the entire Giga Texas in solar panels and do it in the next six months, unlike Giga Factory in Nevada, which still isn't done years later. But a Twitter user, Tony Vess, uh, comments on, on this and says there is a reason why, the, why the, for this is because Gigafactory 5, Gigafactory Texas in Austin did not get a power subsidy from Austin or Texas to build there. They got other considerations. Gigafactory 1 got a power subsidy from the state of Nevada through 2022. So this is why probably Tesla is not rushing to make more investment. That is why it's slowly building out solar and it's a 
accelerating now it made economic sense have you guys heard anything about giga berlin's solar situation is giga berlin also going to have solar panels on top of the roof let me know your thoughts friends so i think this is very nice that tesla is doing this at gigafactory texas so this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking tesla news share the news in social media and god bless you everyone happy new year and let's move on to our next tesla story